Hey guys, uh, got another video for you today. Um, gonna be going over my Bo Katan belt and holster set. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I really loved um, how this uh, this belt looked in The Mandalorian um, season two, and um, so I immediately wanted to do it. But also, I've been having people uh, request it just like crazy. So uh, I went ahead and knocked this out. Um, so I just want to go over some of the features a little bit, uh, today. Um, so let's just jump into it. First of all, um, the buckle is functional, um, along with the side buckles, uh, or I call them side buckles. Uh, these, one on each side, are also functional. Um, and, uh, this actually closes with a magnet. Um, these are large 23 millimeter magnets. So the belt actually comes open like that, two different pieces. Um, the way that I modeled and 3D print these, um, these suckers are stout and uh, you should never have to worry about them breaking. Um, and they have uh, some metal reinforcements like uh, where the strap is wrapped around on both sides here. There's a metal rod going through there. And just the way that I printed them, um, again, you shouldn't have to worry about them breaking. And the way that they close are large 23 uh, millimeter uh, magnets. So, you know, you hear the click there. Uh, sucker's not coming open unless you want it to, um, which of course I uh, designed it that way. So this belt does have uh, four pouches on the back, um, four on the front, two on each side of the buckle. Um, again, with, like with all of my stuff, I uh, make these custom for every customer. So, you know, I send measuring instructions, and once I get those, I set up my mannequin, and I just tailor make each belt for each customer, which is also why it's kind of a long uh, process for making these. Um, usually, it's anywhere from six to eight weeks um, for before I ship these out, and that's just because of my workload. Um, I can normally have anywhere from 30 to 40 orders, so, you know, considering I have to do this for every order, it does take a little while, but you receive a perfect uh, fitting belt and don't have to worry about getting something that's just mass produced for somebody else that's not your size and not going to look right. So you know these are going to look right on you for your size. So I don't know the way that this belt functions in the show. Um, I was just trying to go with what was uh, easiest, one, uh, to put on and take off. And two, it has to be adjustable. Um, you know, for the show, of course, they don't have to be adjustable because they have people that tailor make it for the actor. But considering I can't have every customer here while I'm making these, and then plus if someone gains weight, loses weight, whatever, you want to be able to wear this, especially for how much they cost for ever, for as long as you want to wear them. So I have to make them adjustable. So uh, basically what I did was... Um, you put it on from the front. As you see, there's several different layers. Uh, you got this cummerbund type belt behind. This is two layers. Uh, you've got the layer with the engraving on it and then a back uh, leather layer. And then you have this <clears throat> top layer that comes across. And uh, so that opens. As you can see on the back side here, see that flap? Um, these are all adjustable. These side buckles are actually functional. Um, these uh, rings coming out the side or sliders uh, are metal and the belt wraps around those and then um, loops around this belt and then is threaded through the, uh, the pockets. So this can be loosened um, in both spots or tightened or whatnot, whatever your size is. Um, when I first send these, I do try to go ahead and send them to the size that you've given me, but um, looking at it, as you can see, you can do plenty of adjustments if you need to end up needing it tighter or looser or whatever. Um, now these side buckles, uh, I already told you about the front buckle, the way I designed it, but the side buckles, I don't know if they machined something for the show or what they ended up doing, so I just ended up modeling these. Um, like I said, the rings are metal, so you don't have to worry about those breaking, but the square piece... Um, is actually something that I modeled in 3D print and they come apart and as you can see uh, 
the metal rings are sandwiched inside and then it has screws that attach from the back so this sucker is not going to break um, and you know the metal uh, sliders aren't going to break so these are very stout um, I try to always um, convey I know some people sell uh, metal versions of the buckle in this set and you know I can't fault anybody for wanting metal um, but these are going to be just as durable as, as metal ones um, as far as anything you're going to be putting it through, uh, you know, just wearing them. Um, but also, uh, something that I've noticed, the metal ones, is they're not to scale. Um, these are to scale. A lot of the metal ones, the side buckle is too small. And when you buy those and, and it has a side buckle too small, that also means that your belt's going to be end up being too small. So uh, if you look at screenshots of the show, these are pretty much the same size as that front buckle. But when you look at some of the ones being sold out there that are metal, they have these way smaller than that front buckle. And that's just not to scale. Um, you know, uh, whenever I go over this stuff, I meticulously go over, you know, the actor's height, their weight, um, uh, you know, anything gauging from like the size of their fingers to, you know, whenever they have their hands on their belt or whatever, just to, to map out the, the scale of all this stuff. And scale is just something that most people get wrong. Um, but anyway, so these are accurate um, and they're durable um, for anything you're going to be putting it through. So now uh, this back belt also does the same thing that these side ones do. Belt comes around through that uh, metal slider and loops back through so you can tighten it or loosen it. Um, all the pouches are functional. Uh, so if you want to put something in them, uh, feel free. Uh, especially if you, you know, don't want to be wearing, uh, well, don't want to take your wallet or whatever um, when you're cosplaying. You just throw your ID or your keys or whatever in those. Um, the holsters, I did. Uh, there are a couple of popular Westar 35s that people are buying on uh, on Etsy and eBay and you know everywhere else you can get them. Um, I just ended up taking some of the uh, ones that I thought were the best looking ones and used their measurements to make these holsters. So these will uh, fit most. Of course, I can never guarantee it, but uh, if you do buy these for me, I can tell you the measurements that I used for these holsters and then you can make sure that you buy something that'll fit. I'm hoping, just because I partner with Chad with Treywick Designs all the time, um, usually he has a blaster uh, for my belts. He hasn't made this blaster yet, the West Star 35, but he plans to. So once he does that, um, then you can start getting your blasters from him. But until then, you just got to unfortunately get one of the other uh, sellers. <clears throat> now, I showed you how that comes open. Unfortunately, because this is a dual holster and the way that the belt looks, I can only take so many liberties. So, uh, this cummerbund, uh, the, it actually velcros on the side here. That's where the, uh, that underbelt, that's where it's adjustable. So there's a large, uh, velcro spot under here where you can tighten and loosen this. Um, but as you see, the holster is connected here on both sides. That's just where it was on the show. So that's where I had to connect them. But that also means that you can't remove this velcro part without undoing this screw right here so whenever you put this belt on take it off um, you do just have to take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew this right here and then remove this and then this all opens up um, in fact i'll show that real quick so and this is also i guess if you buy this belt from me so you can easily see so so that comes open. Then at that point, I don't know if that's going to fall out. Yep. Then at that point, you can open it. So I ho I wish it's not that bad. Of course, I've seen a lot of stuff that's a lot harder to put on and take off. Uh, I wish it was a little easier, but unfortunately, you do have to do that before you know buttoning up this uh, this belt but um, I did that for a reason 
again, I wanted to make it look just like the show. Um, and that was the only way to make this completely adjustable. Um, but anyway, so that's how you put the belt on. That's how it adjusts. Um, I'll just give you a shot of the back there. There's the four different pouches. Um, I have seen uh, some where I think two of the pouches are bigger in the back. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. Um, I would be willing to do that if you decide that you want that for your belt. Um, I've seen some people do that that have made this belt, but when I look at screenshots, um, I have seen some angles where it looks like they are bigger, and then some angles where it doesn't look like they're bigger, which so that could just be that they have different belts for the show. You know, she may have a hero belt or a stunt belt. So there's no telling, um, but uh, I would be willing to do that if uh, if you end up buying one of these for me and want want two of the pouches bigger or whatnot. Um, but anyway, so uh, and then of course uh, these are metal um, that the holsters are hanging from. Um, these are actually aluminum, um, so there's two screwed on on the back back there, and then of course the two on the front. But uh, I'll just leave that open for now. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's the Bo-Katan belt. Um, uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them um, here on the video. If you, if you want to reach out and contact me, of course, I'm on uh, Instagram, Fan Fiction Props. Just message me on Etsy. Uh, this is listed on Etsy uh, right now. So uh, um, thanks for checking, me, uh, checking out my video, and uh, uh, I really had fun with this one. Thanks, guys.